At the heart of our story is Tesla, a name synonymous with revolutionary change. But what lies beneath the surface of their latest feats? From their quest to dominate the electric vehicle charging landscape, extending their supercharging network beyond borders, to the surging sales in the vast market of China, the narrative is as compelling as it is transformative. Basically, Tesla's NACS standard is now going to become, I mean, I, I think it's going to become the default standard for North America. Uh, you had GM signing on, you had Ford signing on, and now Rivian saying that in 2024, they'll be able to access the charging network. In addition to the fact that in 2025, newer vehicles are gonna add a native Tesla port, the NACS port in the car, so they can go directly to the uh, Tesla network without having to use an adapter. So that's a big deal. Um, I think Rivian saw that they needed to hop on board in order to sell their vehicles to people that wanna use that network. That's 12,000 superchargers. They're reliable, <laughs> they're, they're available. You gotta hand it to Tesla there. They actually made a, a strong network and everyone wants a piece of it after Ford you know, ticked it off. They began that whole process. So here we are. Uh, I think that's a key driver here is, is, is that reliability and access to that network that everyone wants. The Tesla network is easier to use because it's, you just plug it in and it knows your car. It has your billing information. You just plug it in. There's no app. There's no like, I gotta type this stuff in. It's, it's, it's so clean. So I think that's also a big part is ease of use for their network is a big differentiator for people wanting to use it. Kind of Tesla's ace in the hole or ace in the PowerPoint maybe is the supercharger network. Uh, that was a brilliant move for uh, Elon to invest in that. Now we're seeing all the other car companies transition to the uh, plug type that he's got in that supercharger network and he's starting to open it up to other companies and other cars. He could end up with quite the subscription model if he becomes the dominant player in the infrastructure and uh, power supply. Field. Now turning over to Tesla turning things around in China. The EV maker seeing vehicle sales rise 5% year over year in November. The uptick comes after two straight quarters of declining sales in the country. That's according to data from China's Passenger Car Association via Bloomberg. So what's motivating the upward trend? With us now is Yahoo Finance's Praz Subramanian for more. Praz, what do you got? Hey, how's it going? So yeah, that's right. 5% jump there in China sales around to 65,000 units there for the, for the month of November. Uh, compared to a year ago. Uh, this as Tesla is actually raising prices slightly through the month of October and November here. And there's more, the buzz around Tesla's factories where the gears of the future are in motion, crafting more than just vehicles, but dreams of a sustainable tomorrow. Join us as we unravel these mysteries, diving deep into the suspenseful world of Tesla's advancements. Are these the early signs of a global takeover by Tesla in the EV arena? What secrets do their factories hold for the future of automotive excellence? Get ready for an episode packed with intrigue, excitement, and groundbreaking revelations. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this electrifying journey through Tesla's latest endeavors. Don't miss a moment. The future starts now. But before anything else, make sure to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. Now let us get started. Today's program brings you exciting updates from Tesla, including the latest on charging, robust sales in China, intriguing job listings, and a noteworthy rise in Tesla's stock which closed at $254.22, up 2%, outpacing the Nasdaq's 0.67% gain. Starting with the Cybertruck news, Tesla reignited the excitement by reopening order invitations for this much anticipated vehicle, inviting a select group of reservation holders to confirm their orders. While the increase from 172 to 183 entries on the Cybertruck Owners Club tracking sheet might seem modest, it's a telling sign of the growing anticipation and interest in this groundbreaking vehicle. This development not only reflects the keen public interest, but also Tesla's strategic approach to its rollout. Each entry represents a blend of customer trust and Tesla's commitment to innovation, marking an essential phase in Cybertruck's journey from concept to reality. Undoubtedly, this is a development worth monitoring closely as it hints at the potential scale and impact of the Cybertruck in the evolving automotive landscape. In a fascinating turn, Tesla CEO Elon Musk commented on the possibility of transforming the Cybertruck into a makeshift boat capable of traversing 100 meters of water. This ambitious idea is a testament to Tesla's innovative spirit, blending fun with functionality. Shifting gears to Tesla's performance in China, the company recorded an impressive 18,300 insured vehicles this week, marking a significant leap towards surpassing previous quarterly records. The Model Y continues to drive this success, greatly outperforming the Model 3 in the Chinese market. In the realm of electric vehicle charging, Volkswagen has made a strategic move by adopting the North American charging standard across its Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, and Scout motor brands, starting in 2025. 
This decision signifies a major shift in the EV landscape, highlighting Tesla's influence in shaping industry standards. Reflecting on the dynamic changes in the automotive industry, especially with Tesla's ambitious growth and Audi's recent strategy shift, one might wonder who else is closely tracking these exciting developments. Well, our friends at Seeking Alpha are right on top of it. For those fascinated by Tesla's advancements and keen on investment insights, Seeking Alpha is an invaluable resource. They offer in-depth coverage of Tesla, including stock price targets, innovation updates, and the latest on Elon Musk's ventures. As a premier pro-Tesla news source on the internet, Seeking Alpha provides a clear perspective distinct from the mainstream media's often skeptical view of Tesla. We've arranged a special offer for our audience. Just check the link in the description for an exclusive discount and join the community of informed investors at Seeking Alpha. On the other hand, Volkswagen has announced an intriguing exploration into adapter solutions that would enable existing vehicles to access Tesla's supercharger network. Starting in 2025, this development marks a departure from previous announcements, indicating that the adapter's integration with Volkswagen vehicles is still in the works. Rebecca Tanucci, a key member of Tesla's charging team, has expressed enthusiasm about the progress in charging technology. She highlighted that the North American charging standard, initially just a concept, has now gained widespread support from almost every major car manufacturer. This collective effort is seen as a significant step towards enhancing the charging experience for all EV drivers and accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. This announcement underscores a pivotal moment in NAC's adoption in North America. With Volkswagen's commitment, almost all major automakers are now aligned with this standard. Stellantis remains a notable exception, but with Volkswagen's significant influence, it seems increasingly likely that they too will embrace NX. In related news, SAE International, formerly the Society of Automotive Engineers, released the technical information report for the NACS standard. This report establishes critical engineering and development parameters, providing developers with the necessary information to proceed with deploying and commercializing the NACS connector. This development is a major milestone, enabling third parties to utilize NACS in their operations fully. These advancements represent significant strides in the EV charging infrastructure, promising an exciting future for electric vehicle technology and sustainable energy solutions. In international Tesla news, the electric vehicle giant is expanding its supercharging network to include non-Tesla EVs in Ireland, Romania, and Hungary. This move follows Tesla's strategy in other regions, though not every supercharger will be available for third-party vehicles. The Tesla supercharger map, soon to be updated, will be a valuable resource for identifying accessible charging stations. In the realm of business development, Tesla is making notable strides. Alexander Emson X highlighted a Tesla job listing for a senior business development manager in North America. This role is crucial for scaling Tesla's business-to-business -business hardware sales program within the charging organization. The new manager will work with top executives across various industries, aiming to foster substantial growth in the EV charging market. Tesla's recent partnerships with companies like BP, Hilton, and Best Western reflect this ambition, though these collaborations haven't garnered much media attention. With NX becoming the standard in North America, this development is set to benefit all future EV owners. Another job listing sheds light on Tesla's activities in Mexico. The company seeks an indirect procurement manager for construction and facilities at the new plant in Santa Catarina, Nuevo Leon. This hiring move signals further progress in the development of Giga Mexico. Governor Samuel Garcia of Nuevo Leon provided insights into Tesla's plans in the region. He emphasized the favorable incentives for infrastructure, crucial for the new factory, and noted Tesla's preference for infrastructure support over financial gifts. Each meeting with Tesla reveals the factory's scope expanding beyond initial projections, suggesting significant growth plans for Giga Mexico. Garcia hinted at the factory potentially doubling or tripling in size, possibly producing not only a new economically designed Tesla car, but also the Cybertruck, another production line for the Model Y and batteries. These developments in Tesla's charging infrastructure and expansion plans in North America and Mexico are stirring excitement in the EV world promising enhanced charging experiences and significant growth in Tesla's manufacturing capabilities. Speculation continues around the production of the Cybertruck at Giga Mexico. Governor Samuel Garcia's now deleted Instagram post had hinted at this possibility, though skepticism remains due to Giga Texas's proximity and the initial high cost of the Cybertruck. It's still unclear if this move makes practical sense, but the possibility of manufacturing the Model Y next generation vehicles and batteries in Mexico seems more feasible. In other news, 
CNBC has reported a significant pay increase for Tesla's hourly workers at Giga Nevada. Starting in January, employees can expect a pay rise of approximately 10%, with some seeing even larger increases. Similar trends are likely at other Tesla facilities, including Giga Berlin, reflecting the industry's standard practice of periodically raising compensation. This year, the impact of the United Auto workers contract renegotiations could also influence wages across the sector, including at non-unionized automakers like Tesla. Shifting focus to Tesla's safety record, a recent report by LendingTree has sparked media attention. The report claims that Tesla vehicles have the highest accident rates among all brands analyzed, with Tesla drivers reportedly having an accident rate of 23, 54.99 through November 2023. However, it's important to note that this data, derived from insurance shoppers on LendingTree, might not represent the broader Tesla driver population. Factors like Tesla's own insurance, which might offer lower rates to drivers with fewer accidents, could skew these results. Additionally, Tesla's sentry mode technology could influence reporting behavior. Incidents captured by sentry mode are more likely to lead to insurance claims, unlike with other brands where minor incidents might go unreported. As in automotive safety, recent discussions have centered on Tesla's accident rates. While a report suggests higher accident rates for Tesla drivers, several factors could influence these findings. Notably, the report does not account for the number of miles driven. Tesla's impact report indicates that their vehicles are driven more than average, potentially increasing the likelihood of accidents. Such nuances, often overlooked, can significantly impact the interpretation of these statistics. However, the media portrayal of these findings tends to oversimplify, suggesting an inherent risk in Tesla vehicles without acknowledging these crucial variables. As a result, the significance of this report should be viewed with a degree of skepticism. It's a reminder of the complexity behind such data and the importance of a nuanced understanding of these issues. In other industry news, Bloomberg has reported that Audi is scaling back its electric vehicle rollout plans. This decision, as explained by Audi's new CEO, aims to avoid overburdening their factories and dealerships in the face of slower EV sales growth. While spreading out the launch of new EV models might be a short-term relief for Audi, it raises questions about the long-term competitiveness and profitability in the rapidly evolving EV market. These developments in Tesla's safety statistics and Audi's EV strategy highlight the dynamic nature of the automotive industry, where decisions and data must be carefully weighed. As we wrap up today's episode, we've journeyed through Tesla's latest innovations, from expanding their supercharging network to groundbreaking developments in the Cybertruck, and observed Tesla's significant impact on the global market. We've also touched on the broader EV industry landscape, including Audi's strategic shifts. Are these developments pointing towards a more electrified future? How will Tesla's new initiatives shape the next chapter in the auto industry? We invite you to ponder these questions and join the conversation. If you found today's insights enlightening, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tesla Stock News. Your support helps us continue to bring you the latest and most comprehensive updates in the world of Tesla and beyond. Stay tuned for more and remember, the future of innovation and investment is just a click away.